Now turning to the question of California standards and what does it really mean? Recently, there's been a lot of talk about California standards. The ironic part is that we have Canadian provinces looking to impose California standards when they don't even exist in California. These standards, as set out hypothetically in California, are unworkable and may even increase smog as people are forced to hang on to older, higher polluting vehicles as new vehicles with cleaner technology are restricted from the marketplace. So what does California mean? California's mandate is to reduce fuel economy by an improvement of 58 percent for cars and small trucks. In the case of large trucks, there would be a fuel economy improvement of 33 percent. It's important to keep in mind that this is an average fuel economy improvement of 8 percent a year, while over the past decade we've only been able to improve fuel efficiency by 1 percent a year. So California is asking for much more stringent and very questionable in terms of technology uh, attainability standards. Key points to remember are that California standards are being advanced in Canada before consultation with the industry or the analysis of their key impacts. We need to look at in these kind of standards in terms of technological feasibility. What are the trade-offs versus safety and other consumer applications, particularly when you consider Canada's harsh environmental conditions in the wintertime? What are the impacts on consumers in terms of vehicle availability and prices? Thirdly, we need to really look at the impact on dealers and the economy as a whole. Fourthly, the ability and cost to implement and administer these standards is a real question mark with respect to the viability of individual provinces putting in a framework to adopt California standards. The issue of vehicle availability for consumers is important. When you look at California standards as they're laid out, 99% of the current cars and small trucks would not meet California standards by 2012. The vast majority of current vehicles will not comply in a very short period of time. And the truth is that current technology cannot meet California standards and safety standards across the entire product lineup. An important issue to consider in terms of vehicle availability for consumers is limited choice. We have families, farmers, and small businesses that depend on a wide range of vehicles in order to, to function. Limited availability of commercial vehicles will also have impact for those that require full-size pickups, trucks, and vans. Specific retail consumer impacts will relate to cargo space, passenger room, limited towing capacity, and of course, off-road capability, all of which are important for Canada, our environment, and our economy. The most important considerations, however, remain the fact that we will force sh consumers to shift to used vehicles or get vehicles from other jurisdictions, from out of province, to, that don't have to meet California requirements. And finally, by making con Canadian consumers steer away from newer, cleaner vehicles, it will actually increase the emissions from older vehicles. I'd like to conclude by thanking you for listening to today's slide presentation and showing interest in auto emissions in Canada. If you have questions, please feel free to contact us at the National Office of CADA. My email address is huw at cada.ca and we'd be happy to respond to you and answer any questions you may have with respect to the environment, automobiles, or emissions in general. Thank you.